Howdy guys, Cosmic Desktop is out in alpha and it's exciting times. It's a completely new desktop environment built in Rust that shares no common DNA with either GNOME or KDE. If you love Linux, that's exciting. So let's have a look. So the last time I checked out Cosmic, it was only on Pop! OS, but I believe it's now available for Fedora and Arch and a few other distros as well. This is still alpha software. I believe there's the basic desktop environment with theme customizations and window management, plus some apps like a Cosmic Terminal and a Cosmic Software Center. It's not really production ready at all. One thing I'm most excited about with Cosmic is how it handles window tiling. Now, if you use a normal floating window manager, like with GNOME and KDE defaults, you're used to windows floating over each other. Cosmic now lets you switch between this and a tiling window manager setup. So something like users of i3 and Sway would be used to. Cosmic basically lets you try out either type of window tiling without the need to switch your environment. Pretty cool stuff. Cosmic has its own control center where you can modify some system settings. For now, it's mostly focused around the basics and theming, but I assume more will be added before the final release. There is, of course, a nice set of wallpapers that Pop! OS comes with, and they look good with Cosmic. Okay, so it looks like you have the most number of options under the desktop menu, and it looks good. There's some good options. Under the panel menu, you can change the panel's size as well as its opacity. And it also looks like you can add and remove the widgets you have on the panel quite easily. GNOME users look away. This level of customization is quite impressive at this early stage. It shows where the focus of the developers are, and I like it. It's the same thing with the dock. Also nice to see, you can change it within the control center quite easily. No edits of dot files or additional plugins needed. Nice work. Okay, nice. We found the theming section and it looks like rather than selecting a theme, it's more about customizing its color scheme right here. There's light and dark mode, of course, and what seems like the option to choose a highlight or border color. And wow, it looks like you can change the color of the UI itself with a color picker. So Windows 95, I really like this. Yeah, it looks like there's multiple levels of things you can just pick your own colors for, like the text and various highlight elements. It's really almost a build your theme section. Okay, so there's a highlight thickness as well as a gap value for windows. I think this has to do with when the theme is in tiling mode, it lets you add a gap between the tiled windows so the wallpaper shows through. There's even a button rounded corner option, wow. And is the export button meant to let you export and import the theme you just made so I can share my theme with my mum? Wow, that's really nice. The button doesn't seem to do anything, but if that's the eventual plan, great work. I am so impressed right now. One of the other apps that Cosmic comes with is Cosmic Files, which as the name suggests, is a brand new file manager. It's nice and easy to use, but fairly minimal. I also really like how in Cosmic making any application full screen, almost puts it into this distraction free mode. It changes the panel and hide the wallpaper gaps and makes everything, including the panel, fit nicely into one window. Really nice stuff. They have also done a very nice job with the new Cosmic Software Center. The UI itself is the same as most other systems on other distros, but it feels quite snappy to use after you get over the initial load. Even at this alpha stage, it's quite fast. Okay, so 
I've been really impressed. Even at this early stage, Cosmic shows a lot of promise. I'm excited to see what the community will do with it. It's great to see a brand new desktop environment shaking things up. Let me know what you think, guys. Will you be trying Cosmic Desktop? Well, until next time.